So I would like to introduce to you about our new muffler structure. This is a major technology leading to the launch of the model today. This new muffler structure is characterized by its frantic structure without sacrificing any dynamic performance. This enables very powerful sound. They need to do that, of course, what we have done is to utilize the branching structure in the exhaust pipe. Generally, in order to reduce the exhaust noise, uh, the exhaust noise the it will be common to lengthen the exhaust pipe and increase the size of that muffler. However, if you do this, then this will result in poor exhaust gas release. And that means that this will lead to a situation where the dynamic performance will be worsened. Also, if the sound pressure is only lowered to comply with the exterior noise regulations, then the sports car becomes a bit boring to drive. You're not able to get uh, the sound that is necessary to bring excitement to the drive. So that was the challenge for the GHR. So in order to achieve these three goals, what we have done is to create a new structure. Now you see on the left-hand side the 2024 model of the structure. On the right-hand side, you show you a correction. On the left is the Mafflow 2022 model, and the right is the new model. Yeah, there is a splitting structure in the middle, as you can see. The you see the red, red arrow and the blue box. They will be enclosed. They will be in a closed space. And uh, that actually leads to the resonator, which muffles the sound. My, my major objective was to set such a large resonator, and the sound would be conveyed to the top of the page. Now, this, to the right and the left of this, the splitter, the sound will be conveyed. So there is this muffler. The, we can muffle the low frequency range only, which means that we'll be able to meet the very strict exterior noise regulations through this method. But on the other hand, the exhaust and gas will only flow to the right-hand side, which means that the left-hand side is, is closed, so therefore the gas, exhaust gas will only flow to the right-hand side, which means that the exhaust and gas flow will not be changed, and is therefore the performance and dynamic performance will not be sacrificed whatsoever. And furthermore, by using a very innovative exhaust pipe structure, we will be able to create a new jet sound. If I may deviate somewhat, a jumbo jet has nearly 100,000 horsepower, so that would be 160 times the power of GTR Nismo. So jumbo jet naturally has sound, but relatively speaking, it's not that noisy. Why is that? Our engineers really analyzed this situation very, very minutely. And we found that the turbine plate, the, when you take a look at the turbine plate of the jet engine, they don't create a lot of air vortices. They, they actually the plate of the jet engine generates lots of small air vo vortices, not big air vortices. So between the low frequency and the high frequency, the energy is distributed very equally, which means that the total volume can be reduced by dispersing the frequency. So we use this as a point of reference. So we try to introduce new uh, new shape of the splitting of the splitter, and we decided to create lots of small air vortices. And as a result, we can actually accelerate the edge, and we can actually accelerate the engine, and the jet sound will be still very loud. loud. So therefore, we created such a new powerful jet, new jet sound. I hope that you will listen to the powerful new G sound when you, uh, G -G sound, when you actually see the car 